everybody and welcome to Hardware Heaven. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Venue 11i Pro tablet from Dell. Now this tablet can be used as a tablet as you would imagine. You can also plug it into one of the tablet keyboards and use it as a notebook or you can plug it into one of the Dell docks and kind of use it as a desktop. So we can take a look at all of its features, what you can do with the tablet, its accessories and some benchmarks. So let's get started. <laughs> tablet has an i3-4020Y processor, it runs on Windows 8.1, it's got Intel G2 graphics and 4GB of DDR3 memory. It's got a built-in 128GB solid state drive and it's a 10.8 inches IPS display at a full 1080p resolution. Now I'm going to take you through all of the ports that we have on the tablet. On the bottom we have the docking ports alongside here which the keyboards and the Dell desktop dock will plug into. And on the left hand side we have the headphone jack, the volume toggle, a speaker and a USB port. On the right hand side we have a mini HDMI port, the charging port, an SD slot, another speaker and the locking switch here for the tablet. On the front of the tablet we have a camera as well as on the back we have an 8 megapixel camera. So now you've actually seen the Venue 11i Pro, I'm just going to go and show you some examples of really how easy it is to use. It's so responsive when you're using all of the Windows 8.1 features, but not only that, if you go into desktop mode, opening up programs is super easy, just a double click and it will begin to load as you can see here. I'm actually loading the 3 d Mark program that I use to benchmark various devices, anything from phones, tablets to computers and laptops. Now if I actually open Run Ice Storm, which is the sort of test that we use to benchmark tablets, you'll be able to see exactly how clear this screen is. Here you can see the tablet running Ice Storm. Now it looks completely like a game. It will show us the FPS performance of the tablet and you'll be able to see exactly how clear the screen is. The colours are extremely bright. I absolutely love how clear it is and the way it looks and I think it performs performs extremely well. So now I'm going to give you some of the benchmarks results from this test just so you can see how well it's performed throughout our testing. For the results of the benchmark, the 3D Mark score is 16,890. The graphics score was 16,312 with a physics score of 19,285. For the graphics individual test, the first one got an average of 87.21 FPS. The second got an average of 59.76 FPS and for the physics test it got an average of 61.22 FPS. Now I'm going to go into all of the accessories that Dell sent me. As far as I'm aware after checking their site, these are all the different accessories that you'll be able to use. There may be some unofficial accessories that you might want to purchase, but as far as the Dell official branded accessories, these are the ones that you can get. The first one we have here is a sturdy keyboard that turns your tablet into a notepad. What you do is you plug the tablet into the top slot here and then you can simply fold the tablet up into a notepad and open it to use it like a notepad. Now I really like this keyboard because it is completely sturdy, it's metal, it feels like a keyboard that you would expect to see on a laptop or a notepad. The key buttons are really nice and it has a touchpad on it as well which is I think is a nice touch. So now I'm going to show you exactly how you plug in and what it looks like. So as I said you just plug it into the top here. If you are wanting to remove it there is a button located here that you push it in to be able to pull the tablet out and as I said it can just fold completely in half and looks like a notepad which I think is really great. Just as a note as well there is actually an additional battery in this keyboard here so the price is quite expensive but the fact that you get an additional battery means it's going to last longer which I think is really good. You could do everything you want to do on a tablet and when your battery is running down you could plug it into this keyboard and then have some additional life in there which I think is a nice touch. 
We also have a thin Dell tablet keyboard. Now this just has a sort of leather et cover which you can use as a stand like most tablet sort of covers and then it has a built in keyboard and it's extremely thin, it's extremely lightweight, it plugs in exactly the same way, it just magnetizes in. You are still able to fold this one up, however it's not as sturdy or as kind of weighty as the other one. It is very much a sort of uh, keyboard that you would just use as a stand, then lift your tablet up and type away. The key buttons are still just as nice and it has got a touchpad on it. Personally, I prefer the sturdier one that I showed you before this, but this is just a nice lightweight one for someone who maybe won't use a keyboard as much with their tablet, but might want to have the option there, which I think is nice that Dell have given two options for that. We also have the Dell Pen Stylus, which works a lot like the stylus you get in a Note Galaxy phone. It has a button on here to be able to right click on the tablet screen. It's extremely responsive, I think it's really great. You can also store this in the thin keyboard, which is really nice that it's got a pen holder on that. And I just think it's really nice, especially when you're doing specific things like highlighting or maybe doing some drawing on your tablet. It's really nice to have this option, so I'm glad they've included that in there. And lastly, we've got the Dell desktop dock, which you can use to essentially put your tablet onto the docking like you would the keyboard, leave it there, and then you've got some additional ports on here as well. On the back, we've got two USB ports, a LAN port, HDMI and display port there as well. And on the front, we've got another USB port and a headphone jack. So it does give you an additional three USB ports for plugging in external mice, a keyboard or anything like that. You could also actually put the Dell tablet in here and then connect it out via the mini HDMI or the HDMI here onto a bigger screen, which is great. So it means that you've got a lot of options for not only portability, but features as well. So you could have the tablet on its own, use it like that, and then when you get to your office, plug it into here, use it as your desktop. Then if you're going on a trip and you need a sort of notebook, you can then plug a keyboard in as well. I think that's great that they thought of all these different options. This is definitely a tablet that can be used by a working person who travels a lot, who maybe has an office at home and at work and, you know, goes to a lot of meetings all over the world. I think it's got a lot of useful features and I think it's a great idea that they've made all of these accessories to go along with it. For a tablet, it performs extremely well. The benchmarks are really strong and the accessories are extremely well made. But you do have to bear in mind that you've got the price of the tablet and then you've got all of the accessories on top of it. However, Dell do a few different options for the tablet. There's also one with a lesser processor, so it does become a little bit cheaper. And I'm sure there are some unbranded accessories out there that you could use as alternatives. But bear that in mind, if you're wanting all of them, it will become a little bit pricey. However, I'm going to be giving this the gold award. It performs extremely well. I was really impressed with it. I think tablets have come such a long way. There are still some issues with 8.1 and being able to type certain things in whilst using the built-in tablet keyboard. So having an external keyboard is definitely a plus if you are using a Windows 8.1 keyboard. But apart from that aside, I'm really, really impressed. I'm happy to give it a gold and would definitely recommend getting this if you're one of those people who travel a lot and want something with a few different uses, aka desktop, notepad and tablet as well in there. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!